and everything, but when you have a game like this, what, what's kind of your message to the team? How quickly can you just flush this? It's just, <clears throat> you have these games, but when it's opening weekend and the expectations are so high, um, it's tough. I mean, it's tough on our guys. And, and like I told them in the dugout afterwards, it's, they're good. I mean, that's a top 10 team, top 15 team, top five team. I don't know, but they're really good. Uh, we just haven't played great. And um, for to be good teams in this league and, and the schedule that we play, we have to play better. And so um, I, I think the confidence knowing that we can play better and, and to believe in each other is kind of the biggest thing. Cause you know, when you, when you do lose here, it's tough sometimes. And so right out the gate, these guys are getting tested a little bit about how tough mentally they are. And they're gonna have to come out and play good baseball tomorrow. In the uh, third or fourth inning when, when Teller came in, um, was the plan to bring him in behind KC, or what was the what went into that decision from Fox to bring him in after uh, KC? Yeah, we're just trying to give a different look. I mean, they, they barely have a left-hander on their team. They have some guys with bad splits with left-handers. And Cam Teller's been really good in our practices. He just wasn't really good. You know, he just, you know, come out and walks a guy. We don't make a play in bunt defense. And, and when you fall behind and then have to throw strikes in there, that's kind of what we did all day long. I mean, I think we had, on the radio, they told me eight walks. But it's just just hard to win when you when you don't throw strikes. Coach, you mentioned about defense. You, you had three of those, and they're kind of an adventure today. One of them actually made the play. But yeah. you being a defensive coach, I mean, you know, how difficult is that for you to see, and how do you go back and correct that? You know, the first one with LT was just a really hard play. Probably the best thing to do is arm fake. Um, and then we don't make the other one. You know, that's the, that's the one that we have to come and get that ball and make that play. So we worked on it all week. We knew they liked to bunt a lot. They put some pressure on us and had some nice bunts. Um, we just got to make plays. When you don't make a play in bunt defense, usually it's two, and that's what they got every time. What did you think of Casey today in this sort of? I thought he was okay. I mean, I, I, you know, he's been a lot better against us. I wish he'd pitched like he did against us. He's just he was just okay today. Um, you know, you got to command the zone. You got to and you got to pitch. And he's he's really pitched for us in the fall and the spring. He's been really good, but he's just okay today. You had that stretch, I think it was the fourth, fifth, and the sixth. You got the leadoff guy on, can't really, you know, muster any runs from that. How much do you kind of felt those middle innings shifted the game a bit? Yeah, it did. When they hit the big double in the gap and took a, what, had a four spot there. And then we, you know, you know, we just don't do a good job of taking the run, taking the run to get back into it. So, uh, and you got to credit their pitching. I mean, they played really well and they pitched really well. Noble, the, the reliever that came in, he could pull the string and, and kind of pulled it back and sped us up. and. We just didn't, you know, we weren't on anything for most of the game. And speaking of noble coach, I mean, how are those conversations in the dugout where you start thinking, do we just sit soft here? Because it seemed like everybody got the pitch. Well, there was counts, you know, there was just yeah. certain counts, and the change up for him was really good today, you know. So he just, and he threw it to both sides. Usually they don't get it to both sides, and he was throwing it to both sides. So, uh, yeah, we were, we were looking at some certain counts, but we just never got on it. Coach, what did you see from uh, Preston Johnson today along the league? I thought he was good. His first inning was really good, really sharp. Um, you know, command got a little shaky there, you know, and he, at least he competed out of it. I give him credit. He always competes out of it. Um, but I'd like to see him be a little, have a little better command. Can we expect a lot of lineup changes tomorrow, or are you planning to stick with it similar? No, I don't think it's crazy lineup changes. It could be a guy here or there um, trying to get some guys at bats. I just think the guys that we have, we just got to play a little better. One or two more. It seemed like Hines and Quarter both had some good AVs for you today. What did you see as the coach? Yeah, I mean, I, I um, Quarter had a good swing there. Hines had some, you know, some good ABs. I thought the AB early was really big to give us the lead. Um, and, and then, you know, like I said, I, I thought those were pretty good. I thought those two guys. I thought Cumbus and James had good days at the plate. Really gave us some sparks in some of those innings. What are you expecting from Cade tomorrow? Well, pitch well. He's pitched well against us, so he's been he's shown good stuff. Three pitches for strikes, and so I'm hoping he goes out there and, and gets us go, gets gets us going on the right track. You know, I mean, we need to get out there and have some momentum. That was what's frustrating today is we scored and then we came out and walked the guy, and then we scored and then we came out and walked the guy. Like, just hard to win like that. You you just keep getting somebody back in the game. All right.